Oh man, we're cringing today. I don't really want to do this. I do, but I don't. I don't know exactly what we're getting into, but I have an idea of what we're getting into. Contradictions, I know. Let me explain. As you can see, we're talking about Tom Ford, Tuscan Leather today. What a phenomenon of a fragrance. Don't need me to vouch for it. Its impact speaks for itself. Now, many of you may not know, but several years ago, probably almost seven years ago, I recorded my first dedicated fragrance review and uploaded it to my YouTube channel. And what fragrance was that review on? It was on Tuscan leather. It was not this bottle. It was actually on a sample that I had at the time. I think I had bought it around that time. And it wasn't until maybe just a couple years ago, maybe less than that, that I actually got this bottle. But at the time, I wanted to give my thoughts on Tuscan leather. And that review is unfortunately still on YouTube. It is a deplorable review from what I remember, at least visually. So you're going to have to bear with me. The visuals of this video are utter trash, <laughs> garbage, basura, terrible. So we're going to have a good laugh together. I'm going to try try to take this seriously. So if you're new to this series, I go back to my old reviews. I see what I was saying about a particular fragrance. I compare my thoughts then to how I feel now. And then, you know, we'll go from there. So let's see what 2016 Justin thought of Tuscan leather. So as you can see, we're about to jump into the video. I skipped the first, I don't know, bit because it uses a song that is definitely copyrighted. Past Justin apparently didn't understand that you can't use copyrighted music in videos and get paid for them. Let's do it. Welcome back to another Stay Fresh exclusive. Today's a very special day. This is episode one of my brand new series. This is gonna be called Okay, um, we have a lot to talk about here. Uh, dude, this lighting, this filter, horrendous. And you can see a Justin that did not really care to take note of the background before filming. The clothes on the futon. What's up with that? Got this little spray bottle back here. Why does that need to be visible? Turn on some lights. I think I'm using natural light from the window. It was probably sometime in the early evening. So I could have just turned on some lights. Like, I think I was just trying to be mysterious and cool. The the weirdest thing about it all is I still have this shirt and I still wear it from time to time. Target was making some very durable shirts at this time. Let's continue. All late to the game and it is exactly what it sounds like talking about fragrances that basically everybody knows about but figured it's my channel. I'll give my take on it. Let you guys know what I think about the fragrance itself, how it should be worn and, and whatnot. Our first guest for this series is none other than the beautiful and infamous Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. <laughs> Let's have this two mil uh, sample here. Humble beginnings, guys. And uh, real quick, Rhythm. let's get into what is in this fragrance. Not a whole lot of notes at the top. Uh, we have some saffron and we have raspberry and some thyme. Now, the only thing I really get out of this is the raspberry. I'm not familiar with the scent of saffron <laughs> and thyme, not at all. I don't smell any of that, but it must be there. In the middle, we have some olibanum, which is the same thing as frankincense, and that is a resin that is used a lot in fragrances. Uh, we also have some jasmine in there. So it has a floral resinous heart to it. At the bottom, we have some leather, believe it or not. Uh, there's amber down there. There's also a little bit of suede, which kind of works with the leather, I would say. Now, just to get into it, I'm going to try to... What was that? <laughs> I don't... I guess that was Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace in a suede suit i don't know but i was a few videos into the channel at this point we're seeing some editing we're seeing using the notes on screen trying to be creative with where they pop up you know using the bass notes coming up from the bottom and you know such a cool demeanor it's so weird because i don't really talk like this anymore do i i feel like i i sound like a different person it's weird seeing myself like this but I, this was me and this is what made sense. When I first smelled this fragrance, I didn't like it. It was too harsh. Wow. Uh, it was too much for me. Now I gotta tell you, again, the dominant players in this leather is one, the other is raspberry. But at first, up top, you're gonna get this oh, my cat. <laughs> very potent leather note. And this is not your pretty luxury handbag from Hermes <laughs> leather. This is like oh, old aged, leather armchair that's been passed down from your great grandpappy <laughs> that's what i'm <laughs> great grandpappy 
<laughs> Let me know if you, in the comments if you actually use that word colloquially. Moving on. I'm talking about it's a musty leather. But what's most amazing about this leather is that it is so realistic. They did such a wonderful job with the leather note in this fragrance. Now, again, at first, it's harsh. The rest of it, there's a touch of sweetness that is underlying this leather that saves the opening more or less. But it's still a little harsh because it's strong as well. So it really jumps at you from the beginning. Now, again, at first, I was not sold with this leather at all. It's, it's a little much. It's musty. But... I was still interested because there's that touch of sweetness and I wanted to see, okay, how will this dry down? Mm -hmm. Now, as this continues to dry down, as I hope for and as I heard from other reviewers, the leather note tones down quite significantly and this fruitiness, the sweetness from the raspberry comes to the forefront. Real quick, well, you can't even see it now, but the watch I'm wearing in this video, I'm gonna scroll back a hair so you can see the watch. This watch, this little black watch there from Movement Watches, that watch was actually the subject of the very first video I ever put out on this channel. Now you will not find that video because I deleted it, but the first video I ever uploaded on YouTube under Stay Fresh Productions was a watch review. It was an unboxing of that watch. And I liked that watch when I had it, but I didn't find out till later that movement watches, fashion watches in general, not really the watches to be highly revered. But I shot this review in vertical format of me unboxing it with corny effects and corny sounds. And funny enough, at the very end of that video, kind of on a whim, as I was sending my goodbye to the camera, I said, stay fresh. And as soon as I stopped recording, that's when it hit me. Stay fresh. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'll call this. Stay fresh productions. It was literally an accident. It just came out. So if you have any questions about where stay fresh productions came from, that was it. It was a total accident and begins to overtake the leather, which again, makes it much more accessible and much more pleasant to the nose. And as we get closer to the base, it becomes more fruity, more woody. And again, the leather is still there. It is there through the entire life of the fragrance, but it definitely calms itself down a bit. This thing is a beast hmm. performer. I put one spray on my hand. This thing will most definitely last you at least 12 hours on your skin, at least, and will project very strongly for at least half of that time. I'm dead serious. I was dead serious. Now, I'm talking about performance here, kind of making promises. We all know that performance is not a promise. And we also know that, again, this video came out 2016. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather has been reformulated a bit. I hear reports that it is not as strong as it once was. Now, my bottle, I actually got lucky. I bought this from a subscriber. This bottle actually is from the year before I even started my YouTube channel. This is a 2015 bottle. So this is a pretty strong formulation, which would be congruent with what I'm talking about in addition to that sample, which obviously is an older sample and it was pretty strong. Nonetheless, your mileage may vary. Of course, even on weaker batches, you still might get decent performance. And again, it's really nothing to complain about if a fragrance is reformulated where maybe before it lasted 16 hours and now it lasts 11. That is nothing to cry about. This is most definitely a fall and winter fragrance. Heat is going to kill people around you. You are going to cause an extinction. If that doesn't happen, then people will be sick of you. Start with one spray with this thing. That should be enough. Another thing about this fragrance, Curly fragrance would hate me. As harsh as it can be, again, it's still so realistic. And as a result, this realistic mix of leather with this woodiness, with the raspberry sweetness in there makes it very elegant. So elegant. I could not really see you wearing this too casually. I think that'd be a bad idea. Mm. Uh, fancy events, suit and tie, tuxedo. You can't go wrong with this in the winter time. Other than that, I would say you can get away with, you know, if you're going to go out with friends, go to you know, to a pub or go get some dinner somewhere. You can put this thing on if it's cold out, but don't be too casual. Don't just wear like a long sleeve thermal like I have one now <laughs> and just like some jeans and some self-awareness, guys. Look nice. Even back then. Put on like a nice college shirt, maybe with a pea coat, because again, it should be cold outside when you put this thing on. Maybe some nicer jeans or some nice pants or some nice chinos or slacks. 
with some dress shoes. There you Aim go. towards nicer with this thing, and it will supplement what you have on. You see it, guys. I've been talking about the whole package since day one. It's more than just about the fragrance and what the fragrance can do for you. You have to bring most of the effort. Present yourself well with or without a fragrance, and you won't be surprised how people are generally more drawn to you and find you more appealing to be around, again, with or without a fragrance. You're always gonna be better off dressed a little bit nicer with your fragrance if you want to come off with a good first impression, if you wanna be more memorable, but the fragrance is not gonna do all the work for you guys. And obviously, little Justin from 2016 understood that. Not to toot my own horn, I could, but I won't. That's just my opinion. Reality is, is that you can wear any fragrance you want whenever you want, but the consequences I think will be great with this if you miswear it. That's not a word, but it is now. <laughs> I think it might just it have some kind word. of subconscious effect. People may not know why they don't dig you. If you're wearing this in a t-shirt and it's like 85 out, nobody's going to like you. And they may not truly be able to get to the root of it and say, you know what, this fragrance you have is not suitable for the warm weather, but that's probably what it's going to come down to. So just play it safe. Last thing about this fragrance, the dry down, as I said, as it dries down, it just continues to get more and more pleasant. Now, in my first wearing of this, I'm sitting, I'm doing some work. It's probably five, uh, yeah, about five hours in and I'm not really smelling it anymore. Olfactory fatigue is definitely kicking in. So I go to scratch. Mmm, guys, I, I'm, I have to say, and, I, and I'm not trying to blow smoke for myself here, but I'm genuinely surprised at some of the insight that I had at this time, talking about olfactory fatigue. I've been talking about this a lot lately. I'm so glad that we're seeing this because I've been coming around to this topic more and more. We don't often consider our own noses and the fact that they're not infallible. Just because you're not smelling something doesn't mean it's not there. You can't 100% trust what you're getting here, believe it or not. I know that's not fair, but that's just the way it is. So be careful making these smoking gun type of accusations towards a fragrance and its performance simply based on what you detect. And again, if you're spraying it up close on your chest or your neck and you're just smelling it all day, or if you're spraying it on your hand and you're smelling it up close all day long, and then you're like, ah, I started to lose it after a few hours. It started to wane. Well, you should know why. So I'm just surprised at you, little Justin. You don't look very attractive in this frozen shot right now, but you're doing a great job. I agree. I'm in accordance with how I thought back then. Just had to say that. Cool. Catch my face, I think, and I catch a whiff right here oh my goodness i was blown away it's so sweet and so elegant and so light that raspberry really comes to the front and it just it's like a a caress to the face underneath that you have this very soft resinous leather and suede combination with some woodiness to it and it's going to be a long journey because again this thing is a powerhouse so give it a try i smelled it again not long ago after my first wearing and i actually already like it more hmm. at first i was a little bit upset and a little bit down because i figured well maybe this thing isn't for me it was just too much mm. Young Justin is teaching us more lessons. Again, keep that in mind too. This is very fundamental. This is very rudimentary. So it's gonna sound so obvious and stupid, but realize that taste is subjective. We all know that, but realize this, which is even more important. It's much more realistic for you to say, oh, it's not for me, rather than it's bad. If you don't like it, then it's just not for you. And that is okay. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. And it definitely doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the fragrance, especially if there are others who enjoy it. I think again, if you look the part, I think it'll do what it's supposed to do. Do what it's supposed to do. Do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Tom Ford wasn't an idiot uh, when he released this fragrance. And there's a reason why they're still making it. Some of his other private blend fragrances are now discontinued. This is the one, one of them that stood the test of time. Tuscan leather, check it out. Get your nose on it. Get a sample. I got this on eBay for like 10 bucks. Yes, 10 bucks for two mils. That's a lot for very little, but it is an expensive fragrance as they market it. And it's totally worth it than buying like a 30 mil decaf or any more than that, or God forbid, buying a whole bottle blindly and then kidding it.
good luck with that. That's all we're going to watch because the music is going to come back and then uh, I'll have to cut it out. Anyway, so that's going to wrap it up. You know, what do I think about Tuscan Leather today? I feel the same way today as I felt about it back then. I've really come around to it. As you can see, obviously, it didn't take me long to like this fragrance more and more. Just within a couple weeks of testing, I went from thinking, I don't think this is for me to I really like this. I can see why it is heralded so highly. I see why it's considered a masterpiece and a phenomenon. And it is today. It still stands the test of time. It is one of the private blends that has remained amidst many of them falling off the map. I think it is a stunning fragrance that has influenced so much of the market. How many Tuscan leather clones are there? That is enough evidence of its influence. I do think it smells incredibly elegant. I do think it smells incredibly realistic. It is this rougher leather. It has a texture to it. That saffron really helps to add texture. That beautiful raspberry is perfectly blended, so it's not overly sweet. It's just enough sweetness to make it approachable, especially in the air. I do get more of that thyme. I can smell more of that herbal thyme, more so than I could back then, because I didn't even know how to say it right, obviously. I think this is a timeless fragrance. It is still worthy of its place. I completely support it still being talked about today, and I can still easily recommend it as a hallmark leather fragrance. That is Tom Ford Tuscan Leather, then and now. Let me know what you think of Tuscan Leather down in the comments. Overall, I'm a little bit surprised. I think my review of it was actually kind of a decent review. I'm not really one to pat myself on the back very much at all. I hadn't seen that video since it came out. I was surprised to find it pretty informative and you know succinct and kind of insightful. That's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.